I think there will be people, kind of nutty people like me, and, and this is an interesting aspect. Most of the people who learned Yiddish in my generation, maybe a generation after, learned it because their parents were unable to speak English with them. In other words, it was a necessity that they speak Yiddish in order to communicate with their parents. When it got around to my time, we passed it, we spoke it by choice. We were able to communicate in English, but we didn't, you know, and that was a different, that's a different thing. I think our kids knew that we spoke English, they heard us speaking English together, you know, but they never violated it, namely, and not because we came down hard on them and said speak, no, it came naturally, you know. So, so my, my, my lesson for people who want to who are thinking about carrying on a language in that regard is just open mouth and speak, you know, it, 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 it has its own momentum, as Kyoko found with the Japanese, open mouth and speak.